Yo. What's up? What it do, baby? Here we are. Let's turn the lights on in here. Wait, what is this? Yeah, let me show them. Yeah, we got some new hardware. installations for the apartment. Yeah, new hardware. So I've been teaching Rob how to do pull-ups. So oh, you've been teaching me? Oh, okay. Yeah, I have. Pull so the pull the competition right now. Let's run it. When my students get the kind of new sense of oh, student. confidence. Student? Okay. No, we'll see. We'll see right now. Let's run, let's run it. I'll talk. Huh? So Ryan's going first. Let's see how he does. In the red corner, we have Mr. Rhino. So, first off, what are we doing? Are we doing wide grit? Are we boom? I'll let you pick. You tell me, big dog. Oh, anything. really? You let me pick? I wanted to give Rob a chance, but let's go with wide grip. Easy. Let's run it. Rob about to get handed to him. Y'all remember that movie where the guy got his ass handed to him? Yeah. Y'all remember that movie when he just did the pull-ups and didn't say anything and just started? <laughs> All these little things, like, just start, dude. Ryan's nervous right now. I can sense it. Not too bad. Nine. I'll give it to you. That was pretty good. Nine. Not even tired. I'm oh, sorry. Next up, we have Rob with the slash in the O. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. Almost busted my ass, but we're good. So Rob's gonna be nine pull-ups. Pretty low bar, honestly. I set the bar pretty low, so. Yeah, I was expecting a little bit higher from you. And see, I can't even reach. <laughs> so you have an advantage. <laughs> Keep in mind, I just ate right now. So. <laughs> Soon the student becomes a master, as they say. So um, I kind of feel bad, but he'll keep practicing. And then uh, I could have kept going, but I didn't want to embarrass him that much. So I just did one above him. You know, I did lose fair and square, but between you and me, Rob's really been struggling recently with his pull-ups and stuff. Cause I wanted to boost Rob's self-esteem because he's been struggling recently with self-image and self -esteem. Let me talk to you for a second. Yeah. Um, uh, Dude, what was all that about? Dude, I was trying to... Like, you know I've been trying to get my fitness up, mm -hmm. and everyone already makes fun of me on the vlogs, and you're gonna go ahead and still... Come on, dude. Yeah, I won fair and square. I know, you did win fair and square, but I was just saying that I let you win, because it's like, you know what I'm saying? I can't challenge you and then fucking lose Because there's so much stuff going on in the world with the virus and things. Come on, all we have is each other. Like, dude, you know I get a lot of hate comments, don't you know? Okay, We're I, trying to leave you. I do, but why the fuck do you think you get a lot of hate comments? I don't know. Why do you think you get a lot Because you guys are cooler than me, I don't know. Because you're a weak ass bitch, but like, it doesn't matter. Like, just. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> For real, how many more could you have done? It looked like you could have done more. Probably like two or three. I was actually dying. Yeah, I was sore anyway. Those are hard though. The wire grip are hard. Room tour. Updated room tour. That's why Ryan cleaned his room. Uh, Rob, can I talk to you for a second? Me? Yeah, can I talk to you? One second. Okay. But I just talked to you. I know, but what was, don't tell him that I, it was because I just cleaned my room. Like, you know, I clean my room pretty often, but I was just cleaning up again, and it just so happens that we're filming a vlog, so that's why I cleaned my room. So don't try to well, make I just think, I just thought like what you said was a little bit misleading because, you know, you don't always clean your room, but I figure it, it makes sense because we're filming today, so you want people to see your clean room and how cool it looks, but. Correct, okay. Okay, I do didn't want to. Do you want to show your room first? <laughs> Well, we don't get to show my room. Bro, my room's boring, dude. They want to see I it. keep saying I'm going to get decorations. I haven't gotten them. <laughs> but that's the thing. Rob's got the more kind of plain vibe. <laughs> Explain the setup, please. So we got a mic here for any like music kind of related things, videos, speakers, so I can hear things properly. And then just a whole bunch of... Stop. <laughs> you can take your time though. Not too much, but I'm gonna get some more stuff going on. Got the million plaque. Millie plaque, baby. 100K. So I can work and then I can be like really unmotivated. Then I just look at the plaque. I'm like, whoa, that really motivates me. So I put it right there. Got a little soundproof. I'm gonna treat the whole room with these. You know, I'm thinking about getting like a neon sign. Oh, that'd be cool up here. Something yeah. up there. And this is where I film the Apple videos for all of you who don't know. Just right here. A little curtain vibes. It's literally just a curtain. Like all those, <laughs> all the if Apple commercials were honest, were done right here with 
two lights. Insane. Pretty crazy. Nobody would know that if they didn't watch these vlogs. Like, think about the literally millions of people that aren't gonna get to know that little fun fact. Yeah, only the people watching the vlog. We bring value to the vlogs. This we, is exclusive content. This is top-notch exclusive stuff that I hope you guys... Whoever's watching this and is in this group, mm. Mm. I just like to keep all this little knickknacks, whatnot, camera stuff, equipment. This is some notebook that I used to use. It's filled up. Some books I like to read. Rest in peace, my cousin. Jacob there, keep them there. Yeah, pretty much it. Fun little kendama. I'll do a little around the world for, uh, for the culture. So basically this is called a kendama. It's pretty big right now, but I used to play this back in high school, like way before it was cool. So the object is to land the dama on the cup. This mm. is the ken, this is the dama. Kendama. Kendama. Yeah. Uh, objective, it. land them on all cups and you could spike it. And then you could do a different combination of things. I haven't played in a minute. Wow, that was good. See, watch this. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh wow, that was actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty uh, impressive stuff. So. Apartment tour, hey. Big LLS sign. Y'all know the freaking vibes. Right, I'll get the best room. Now, my my room's dirty right now. I didn't even know we were going to be filming today, but I guess we could stop in here just a little bit. Off the jump, that's what I use for my hair. Damage remedy, coconut miracle oil. Blue light glasses because my right eye has been honestly hurting me so bad because I have been looking at my phone for too long. Uh, so don't look at your... My eyes Oops. are up here. <laughs> this is um Carly Steele. This is her merch that she had a while ago. Again, the skateboards, which you guys saw. We had the light on it. Yeah, I feel like you show the skateboards every vlog. <laughs> Balenciaga folder. What's in there? Nothing. <laughs> My collection of rhinos. Nobody has sent me any rhinos. We're gonna, he needs more, look it. We're gonna pop the PO box up here. Send some rhinos. I'm, then again, they can't really, cause don't send anything right now, cause it's with the thing and the, the CV, you know what I'm saying, that I was dealing the with. The Q. Right? The Q. We'll eventually work on building our <laughs> rhino collection. And I got the big rhino right here, the little fluffy joint. Burberry, you know what I'm saying? This is how I rock it, just like this. I bought this because one, I'm an idiot, and two, I just think it's a statement piece. People see me wearing it like, what the heck is that? And I'm like, well, let me tell you. And it's just cool. Why? Well, in when you were born to stand out, you know? Everyone's too busy trying to be someone else. I'm just me. <laughs> Juggling balls, I still got it. Let's see. Yeah, this is uh... Oh yes, daddy. Still pretty fresh in my brain, honestly. Outside. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Despite the things going on in the world, we're fortunate enough to be safe. And we have a little gym set up out here. We bought some weights and stuff. Cause they closed the gym at our apartment, so. Bought some little dumbbells, a little bench thing. And obviously we have this standard trampoline. Yep. Still works. And it always cracks me up when everyone comes in. Why do you have a trampoline in your room? I'm like, ugh, these people don't know. Trampolines exercise every cell in your body by going up and down. It lets these cells expand and retract and it's giving you a whole revitalized workout. An amazing cardiovascular cellular workout that you would not get doing anything else. Because all day, every day, most people are just standing, sitting, laying. We were meant to move. You were meant to get off your booty and move. And that's what we're doing by being on the trampoline. So that's why I had to get two of those. What I was saying earlier, to anyone who's feeling scared right now, down, you know, worried. My friend told me this today. They said, worry about the things that you can control and the things that you can't, let it go. Because can I control what's happening with the, the V word and everything? I can do my part to not touch anybody or go anywhere, but there's only so much I can do as one person. So when all those scary things are happening, I can't be involving my heart in that stuff because I can't do anything about it. But I can change my mindset. I can change my work ethic at home what I'm doing, things I'm reading and stuff I'm absorbing and watching, I can control all that. So I'm gonna continue to be around positive people, have positive self-talk, all that stuff. I think that's my point to you guys is anyone who's scared anything, try your best to not get in the funnel of negative thought because it will not do you any good just thinking about worst case scenario, worst case, this is terrible, this is terrible, this is terrible. Maybe think of one thing that you can be grateful for, or happy for, or something. It's hard speaking for everyone because everyone's going through so much stuff right now, but yeah, that's just my three cents. I just hope that everyone's doing their best in these circumstances. And that's why I want to be as successful as possible so that I can give back to people less fortunate than me. I mean, you pretty much hit it on the nail there. I think, I think the best thing you can try to do is just be a good example be the person that you would want other people to be you know if you don't want other people going out or doing something like that then you should try practicing that too and i think that just helps spread that same sort of mindset just try to be a good example lead by example be a leader because your, your your other friends are going out going hanging out that doesn't mean you got to do it be that person to be like no 
you know, we should stay in. We should wash our hands. A lot of people, our, our parents have to work. They don't get the luxury of getting to just sit in their apartment like us. I saw a comment that said, people wanted to go hang out with their friends. They, should, they shouldn't do that. And they're like, easy for you to say when you're living with your two best friends. So what does that mean? Now you get to go and hang out and put everyone in danger yeah. and hang out with your friends? Don't worry about it. It's like, think of the big picture. Big picture. Right, because what you're thinking may not affect you, but it could affect easily affect other people. Just try to be the lead by example, pretty much. That's it. And we're going to keep working out, trying to be strong and fit, keep our immune systems up, bounce a little bit. I have no choice but to now beat Rob. He got me. He really got me. Well, we could try doing the chin-ups just to see. Like, oh, chin-ups, I can go all day. All right, let's go. Okay. Line work. I'll go ahead and bang out 15 or about 17. That's it. How many was that? 11, 11. Ah, I didn't know it was gonna be that easy. We are. Do your pull ups. <laughs> ah. All right, fine. Can you beat him for a second round? Oh. <laughs> Is that even a question? <laughs> There's no way. He's tired. Here we go. What do I gotta beat? 11? 11. there. Rob, can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> Once more? Yeah. Not sure what you have to talk about, but. Rob, can I talk to you for a minute? <sighs> it's gonna be an easy talk right here. What was that? What? Why did you do so many? I don't know. Dude, that's the thing. You always underestimate Rob. And then I come out here and I beat you twice. So what do you have to say about that? Rhino? <laughs> what I have to say? <laughs> Let me tell you, Rob. Let me tell you, Rob. Tell me. I'm gonna tell you right the F now. Okay, dude. Tell me um, what the F and deal is in. Two words. It's on. What you've just done mm -hmm. is you have awoken the beast. Okay. For years, I have suppressed what's inside me. And what's that? The beast. Okay. And it's been awoken. And I would not have done that if I were you, personally. I think you messed up by awakening the beast because now I am gonna have no choice but to beat you at your own game. And when is that gonna be? And it's gonna be really soon, because I'll be fast with the games. So just get ready to be embarrassed in front of, I believe we have about 300K people on the vlog channel. Who? 300K.